right let's see where did we leave off um i did 320 321 and 322 so there's a couple of tech questions here okay let's let's open that up now okay let's see the number of cell phones produced when X dollars is spent on labor and Y dollars is spent on capital invest by manufacturing can be modeled by this equation. Okay, 60 X power, three over four, Y power, one over four, equals three, two, four, oh. Find the Y, the X, okay, let's just make that equals zero isn't that and then implicit derivative is this how it works um oh yeah sorry i don't need that i don't it's line two do i have to put the equals zero in i can't remember yeah, no, there we go. Okay. Okay, there we go. And interpret the result of A. Okay, well, just it means um, the rate of change of Y with respect to X. So that uh, Y is the capital. So for if you hold if you hold X constant Okay. Oh, evaluate at 8116, right? Sorry. Be easier with numbers. 81, 16. So the rate, the rate of change in the, um, y which is the capital for unit change in labor is minus 0 0.59 meaning that How can I put this? A unit increase in labor reduces capital by 0 0.59, meaning that a unit increase in labor at, at that point, um, 81, will reduce the need for capital by 0 0.59, or the cost, I should say. Oh, they probably have a more elegant way of expressing at the back. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, the amount spent on capital is decreasing by that much per... Oh, okay, actually, that's, okay. that's pretty close. <laughs> Not as elegant, but this is the right idea. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. All right, um... And then next tech question. Um, oh, same, same, same deal. So we've got 30 X power one over three, Y power two over three, minus 360, um, implicit derivative of line one. And then sub in 278. Okay, and again, the same interpretation. Huh? A Y's capital and X is labor. So a unit increase spent on labor will result in 
zero point one five reduction spent on capital at um, twenty seven eight um, labor capital something something like that okay there's a few left here now Let's see what's left here The value of a right circular cone of radius x is given by that formula. Suppose that the value of the cone is that. Find the y dx when x is 4 and y is 16. Um, implicit derivative? Um, I think so. So they're saying one third pi x squared y is supposed to equal 85 pi so i can cancel the pi's and i get x squared y is equal to 85 times 3 which is 255 so whatever combination of x and y you choose you have to make sure x squared y is 225 so you can have this find the y dx okay so that's 2xy plus x squared dy dx equals zero so that means dy dx equals minus 2xy over x squared which is minus 2y over x which is minus um minus 2 16 over 4 so that's minus 8 okay that's 3 2 5 3 2 6 Find the equation of the surface area of the rectangular box. Oh, for the following exercise, consider a closed rectangular box with a square base, sides x and height y. So the surface area would be, let's think about this. Um, 2x squared for the top and the bottom. And then that's an x, that's a y, that's an x, that's a y. So plus 4xy. Okay, 327. Ah, here we go. 2x squared plus 4xy has to be 78. Find dy dx at 35. Okay, so that would be 4x plus 4y plus 4x dy dx equals 0. So that means dy dx, all the 4s cancel, will be minus x minus y over x which will be minus 8 over x which is 3 um yeah i should be checking the answers at the back too ba -ba -ba -ba. Minus 2.67. Well, that's certainly right. I don't know why they decided to go for the decimal, but anyways. So, and then 25 minus 8 then. So that has to be right as well. So we're good there and there. For the following exercise, use implicit. Does your answer agree with the formulas we have previously? Now, this is how I wanted to find the formulas earlier. I like this way of doing it. 3, 2, 8. So you get dx dy equals cos y um so oh no they said use implicit okay so that is one equals cos y dy dx so that means dy dx equals one over cos y if we draw a right angle triangle here where this is y this is x1 and root 1 minus x squared. So that will equal 1 over root 1 minus x squared. Okay. 329. 1 
equals minus sine y dy dx. So dy dx will equal minus 1 over sine y. And it's uh, the same logic here. This is y. And uh, cos of y is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So the only difference is it's minus. And then lastly, 330, 1 equals 1 over cos squared y dy dx. So that means dy dx would equal cos squared y. Yeah, this is y. This is x, this is 1, this is root 1 plus x squared. Cos squared y is 1 over, yeah, 1 plus x squared. Yeah, I think, I think those are right. What did the answer say? Probably yes. Uh, not mentioned. 3, 7, 2, 9. Oh, the, the second one is mine. Yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. That one's right. Yeah, okay. Yes. Great. Great. So that has... Implicit differentiation finished up to 330. Only one section left here in this chapter to reach the halfway point. Excellent. Okay, thanks for watching. Let's leave it there for today.